Everyone is excited about the Blue Origin launch in West Texas tomorrow, but some of you've got some questions like, are Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson considered the first space tourists? Crystal Cruz went to verify. The billionaire space race is heating up, launching a new era of space tourism. The latest flights, led by Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos, seem nothing short of historic. But what is the history of space tourism? Let's verify. Are these billionaires and their crews the first space tourists in history? Our sources, two space exploration experts. So, have we seen space tourists before? They say absolutely. And it depends on how you define the term space tourists. Space historian Dr. Roger Lanius points back to the 80s when NASA developed a program to train non-career astronauts and send them to space. But they weren't tourists. Each had a task. Two congressmen flew for political purposes. Then in 1986, Krista McAuliffe, a teacher, joined the crew of the Challenger. She was to fly on that particular mission to perform a specific task, which was to teach children. And the idea behind this was wouldn't it be great if we can inspire the next generation? After the ship exploded mid-flight, killing the crew, NASA paused the program. Space tourism didn't take off until 15 years later in 2001, when billionaire Dennis Tito paid a reported $20 million for a ride on a Russian spaceship to the International Space Station. For no other purpose than tourism, just to be there because he was there. Since then, a handful of space tourists have paid millions to hitch a ride on Russian space shuttles. And there's now been seven or eight of these individuals. But it's never happened here, making Richard Branson and his crew the first space tourists in U.S. history. Though there is one point of contention. Did Branson actually get to space? But it's always going to be contentious. Dr. Eric Seedhouse teaches space flight operations at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. There are two definitions of space. Branson's Virgin Galactic flight reached 54 miles above the Earth, just past the 50-mile threshold NASA and the FAA use to mark the start of space. But the international organization that regulates space and keeps official records actually sets the start of space at 100 kilometers, roughly 62 miles up. It's known as the Carmen Line. Jeff Bezos plans to soar 66 miles up this Tuesday and cross the Carmen Line. So we can verify these billionaires and their crews aren't the first space tourists in world history, but they are the first in U.S. history, with many more flights on the horizon. With your Verify, I'm Crystal Cruz.